welcome, welcome gentle sirs, gentle madams and gentle infants. Today is Sunday, we are deep in our weekend and for today we can finally take a break from the relentless onslaught of balance tuning videos we had to go through for something a little bit more spicy. Because in just a few days the second part we can say of the pre-patch is coming out, we are getting the evoker playable, we are getting the pre-patch event with some freebie loot for everyone, however there is something more important to talk about coming in the pre-patch because hidden deep beneath the wall of text of the pre-patch notes there is something quite interesting you might have noticed once you got into the pre-patch for the first time uh, three weeks ago that once you opened your dear macro window you went to your macros and half of those were dead because there was a very useful set of macros in Shadowlands and even before that in BFA and Warlords which allowed you to choose certain abilities depending on whether or not you had them selected in your talents. They were depending on the row of the talent choices that you were having and you were even able to select multiple rows in the same macro. So depending on which talents you have, that macro was going to uh, make you cast the select ability. For example, as a shaman, you had things like Dumper or Cloudburst Totem, you had things like Erdenwall Totem versus Ancestral Protection Totem or things like Wellspring and Ascendance, which depending on the talent you chose, it was going to show up on your, on your macro. Well, now we have a problem because now we have this. So how the hell are we going to make that work with this new set of talents? Luckily, Blizzard has come to help us a little bit because what will be coming out with the pre-patch in a couple of days is new commands for your macros to help you make, make it work in this sea of talents and options in your new talent tree. These two commands are known and no known. So they are commands which will allow you to choose certain abilities depending on whether or not you have them known in your talent tree. So let's start with a very simple macro. We're gonna go up in, in difficulty with the new macros with the first one which is very simple slash cast known dumper cast dumper. That's very simple. If I know dumper, which I do know, then I want you to cast dumper. So I'm gonna put it down here on my on my bars click it and it's gonna select dumper that's very simple right not that difficult now we have a problem what about the cursor macro for example dumper is a ground ability i don't really want to click multiple times with my mouse buttons i want it to be a uh, mouse over on the ground so in this new macro this is where your cursor macro goes in so in this example we have a cast at cursor known ascendance if I know Ascendance, I want to cast Dumper on my cursor, or if I know Dumper, I want to cast Healing Rain on my cursor. Now, at the moment, I don't know Ascendance, which means I can't cast Dumper, because I don't know Ascendance. However, at the same time, I do know Dumper, which means I should be able to cast Healing Rain. So, according to this macro, because I know Dumper, and I have an Net Cursor macro, this macro should allow me to cast Healing Rain, on my cursor. So we grab it, we put it down here, and here we go. Here is the, the cursor working with Healing Rain. And it's working with the new set of commands for your macros known. In this case, it's a double. It's a double whammy for this talent. And you can go as deep as you want with this uh, set of commands, even something like this, <laughs> which is a bit confusing and also makes absolutely no sense as a set of talents like if you know Ascendance, you have to cast Dumper, but if you know Dumper, you have to cast Healing Rain, but if you know Stormkeeper, you have to cast Wellspring, and if you know whatever this is, you have to cast whatever this is. Now, talking about these numbers right here, this is another thing that you might need for your macros, for two reasons. Number one, many of these things are not going to be abilities, they're going to be just effects you might want to put as a choice. For example, something like, oh, if you know this uh, bonus improvement for Primordial Wave, which isn't an actual ability, and you want to put it into your macro. The other problem is the length. Unfortunately, we still live in 2006 and we only have a 255 character limit for your macros, unless you use you know, certain other add-ons that allow you to bypass that, but it starts to become kind of annoying if you want to, for example, use a macro which allows you to choose between these two talents. Why? 
because these two talents are called Erden Wall Totem and Ancestral Protection Totem. Like, you couldn't have found longer names if you wanted to, right? So, in your macro, you would have to put known Erden Wall Totem, cast Erden Wall Totem, and then known Ancestral Protection Totem, and then cast Ancestral Protection Totem, which is huge for a macro. That's where the thing at the bottom that you see right there, spell ID, comes in handy. Now, instead of typing Ancestral Protection Totem when you want to select which spell or talent you know, you can simply type in 207-399. Same goes for Erdenwall Totem, where you can just type in 198-838, which is ultimately some of the things you will see here. These, these numbers here are the abilities. Now, where do you find it? You can find it two ways. One, you can use add-ons, which will show you this. In my example, I'm using Talent 3 Tweaks. This is the uh, mod you are seeing when I hover over everything. And you see the spell ID at the bottom. So that way you can get it very easily. If you are, for some reason, a traditionalist and you don't want to use that mod, then you can simply go to something like Wowhead. If you want to know, for example, the ID of Lava Burst, simply go to Wowhead, type in Lava Burst, go to the Lava Burst page and look at the address bar. The number you see in the address bar of Lava Burst will be the spell ID of the spell. That's how you can find the spell ID of everything, including talents, not just spells and abilities, but also all the tiny little talents like these. That's where you can find the spell ID. But, you know, it's much simpler to just use a, an add-on to, to find it very quickly in-game. Now, this isn't all with this macro system, because yes, there is known mechanic which allows you to cast an ability based on what talent you have known. You can then use it in a combo with different talents, like I want to cast this, but only if I know this talent, which is something like this. You can expand it as much as you want, and then you can also add things like cursor macros right inside of the known command. You can use something like at cursor or something like at mouse over. The important part is that they stay within the brackets. If you put at cursor after the known command, it's going to break. If you put the at cursor before the uh, known command, it's going to break. So it's not going to work. It's only going to make it work for the first ability you are selecting, not for the second. So don't put the cursor or mouse over or no dead or, or harmful or friendly, whatever you want to use, you have to use it inside of the bracket of the known command or the no known command. No known command, which is the other thing you can use. Now, you might be confused as to what this could be used for. Like, why do I need the no known command if I have the known command? Like, what's the difference? Well, let's use this example, which is an example that of course makes no sense, but it's just to make you understand. Imagine you are a DPS, imagine you have a rotation where you have a filler ability, which might be Frost Shock, or it might be a Lightning Bolt. And based on the talents in your build, you can have, you know, both, both styles work. So in my example, I would do something like, okay, normally I cast Frost Shock, but if I take certain talents which empower my Lightning Bolt, those will make Lightning Bolt more worth pressing than Frost Shock. So what you can do is, for example, if I know this, increasing the damage of my Lightning Bolt by 35% is gonna make Lightning Bolt stronger, which means if I don't know this, I want to cast Frost Shock, but if I know this, I want to cast Lightning Bolt. And that's what you do in a command like this. If I don't know the talent, I want to cast Frost Shock. If I do know the talent, I want to cast Lightning Bolt. And that's also where you can find, again, the ID. You simply go up the talent tooltip and you see that the, the spell ID is 378241. You could have found it all the same on Wowhead as well. Now, of course, this was just as an example since you don't really do this as a shaman, but Blizzard themselves, when they announced this, add a good example. For example, Fervor of Battle. This is the warrior talent which makes your whirlwind also slam your primary target. So the obvious macro for a warrior would be, okay, as my filler, I am using slam, but if I know fervor of battle, I don't need to use slam anymore because my whirlwind will also slam the target. So if I don't know fervor of battle, I'm going to be using slam. If I do know fervor of battle, I am going to be using whirlwind. 
that is a perfectly in-game real example of how this macro can be used with the no known command as well this is obviously a very good change it's, it's of course much more detailed than the previous system of macro we had for talents and of course it was needed because of the sheer amount of possibilities you might have this isn't even that complex for a for a resto shaman or for a healer in general it's definitely going to be perhaps much more uh, impactful for dps players that might have different rotation or different priority of different abilities depending on the talents they are choosing as well as multiple choice nodes so these two new additions as far as commands go can and will be very very useful for you and these are pretty much the uses you can have in your macro commands with these new orders known and no known that you can put in your macros for the upcoming expansion or i should say already in the pre-patch you can already start playing around with these commands in the pre-patch itself so with this informational bit of a video for this weekend about how you can better improve the mess that you might have in your action bars now that these talents are going to constantly swap half a dozen or a dozen of abilities every single time you want to change build then these macros should make it much easier to keep your bars much more clean in this new uh, system of, of talents so for today and for this weekend we are taking a break i am afraid after the marathon of the last few days tomorrow we might have yet another balance tuning video because there has been even more stuff uh, pointed out by blizzard after what we talked about yesterday but we will see we will see if there will be just enough worth mentioning tomorrow or if we're going to wait a few more days to see a few other additions to the buff and nerf list of the the beta of dragonflight but for today that's where we are stopping the thanks of course as usual start from my patreon supporters thanks uh, to all of you guys of course for supporting me and for contributing to the growth of myself and this channel in providing you all with some more wow content for today it was an informational video which we haven't done nearly enough i believe we have to ramp up a little bit more the teaching lessons about about dragon flight changes also you can support still in other ways which don't include having to take away your well-earned money from your favorite e-girl by doing it for free liking and commenting down below on this video as well as subscribing to the channel itself are still completely free endeavors and lastly for more social interactions and in general same thing you can follow me on twitter as well as subscribing to my patreon which will give you access as well to my discord server now with this out of the way we're going to leave each other on this sunday thank you guys again for watching see you guys soon and in the meantime ay 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 it was cold it was cold but just for a couple of days I am currently looking at my hands and my hands at the moment are not cold or shivering and that's a problem that's not how it should be in november please please cold then cold then quickly okay